There we go. I just love looking at the outside view. Hello, 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 it's Nader Gator, and for this video we're flying the Saab 340 by Leading Edge Simulations from Lanai, which is where we are right now, as per this sign, to the big one, Honolulu. Just getting start up here. I already went through most of the checklist before recording, just starting up the engines now. Gonna get number two rolling here. Just a flight of one today. Not the group. A little too early for that. Recording this at like nine in the morning. We don't have ATC on right now. Maybe we'll get some later. I'm honestly not sure. They don't have a timetable or anything on Honolulu's uh, RTAC page. Either way, we're going to get started up here. Started up here. Uh, take out all the tubes, covers, chocks, cones, which I probably should have done beforehand, but oh well. <laughs> Alright, after start checklist. Auto course in on bus tie, bus tie, bus tie, bus tie. Here's the bus tie connected. External power off. Uh, we gotta do our gens. Uh, we do our gens afterwards, apparently. Okay. Uh, external power off. Gens. Turn power off generator checked. Uh, let's see here. Emergency light. If I can reach it. Apparently I can't. Emergency light. Come on. Come. We'll get there. There we go. Uh, we'll leave that like that. I guess. I guess it's not the main position for it. Either way, emergency lights armed. Air conditioning. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Fuel use reset. Condition levers. Or levers, as normal people might say. Or levers. I don't know. I don't discriminate. Either way. Uh, actually, I don't really like the throttle quadrant view on that preset. It, it's a useful preset, but I don't like that certain view on it. Either way, we're going to go to max, which... There we go. Condition levers to max. Ice protection, and we're fine. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, uh, we're fine. Over panel check. Eve is checked. We got to clear. One last outside view for the road. It's nice. It's looking nice. Did finally figure out how to work the autopilot in this thing. It was the stupidest mistake on my part. I didn't uh, really read up on the manuals uh, before flying this thing. Found out that it's like the real world aircraft where you have to uh, you have to actually hold the engage for two or three seconds, and then it'll work. So that takes a lot of the workload off of me, uh, especially for doing these um, for doing these videos. 
I can show you guys some pretty cool views as we fly out of here. It's some nice freeware scenery for Lanai. It's an independent developer. I don't think Naps does this airport. Uh, but it's really nice. It's got like the custom buildings and uh, static aircraft and static people. And it's just a, it's just a good airport. Uh, altimeter. What's the altimeter at Lanai right now? Marginal VFR. That's what it is. Uh, 3004. Which you already have. That's creepy. Anyways, I'm gonna try to use the GPS as little as we'll have it on, but I'll, I'm gonna use as little as possible. I'm kind of just gonna go VOR to VOR here. Uh, we're doing Lanai Victor Two to Palay, and then flying the ILS for four right. Set our autopilot. Probably should have done that before, but that's fine. Going up to 8,000 today. Eight thousand. Uh, we already have it on vertical speed. I'm gonna zoom out so I don't mess this up like I usually do with this vertical speed scroller. Uh, oh, we are going up. Yeah, I actually did something right in this aircraft. 600, we'll go. Climb rate, climb rate, climb rate. Uh, 1400. Just because random numbers. Either way, if that all set, we got our beacon on, uh, nav going on, taxi light on, and let's get out of here. It's kind of not, not too great weather in Hawaii right now. Kind of rainy, uh, low clouds kind of just meh. Like I said, it was marginal VFR on Lanai according to the Metar. Uh, VFR over in Honolulu, but it's not like clear skies or anything. Either way, I'll just checked. Uh, flaps are going to go to one, f uh, well, one notch. Uh, seven degrees of flaps. Flight of instruments radio is checked. We don't have any ATC online right now. We're going to be on 122.8. And we'll just keep that in this squawk uh, because why not? Tests are not modeled, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, CTOT, CTOT, said. And our briefing, we're going to be flying direct to Lanai on departure. We're going to be departing runway, whatever the runway here is. I think it's 2-1. Uh, flying runway heading and then going to Lanai and then to Victor 2, play, so on and so forth. It's got a briefing. Uh, we'll do the rest in a. Oh, we still have cheap <laughs> UL. We'll get out of here. Okay, let's go ahead and taxi out here. We have a parking brake on. There we go. I thought I pressed it the first time, but I guess not. Either way, we'll do the turn around here. It's a random mud. Uh, JL Airways uh, static aircraft. I don't know why that would be there. Uh, I don't. I mean, Japan Airlines doesn't fly in Illinois, obviously, and can't think of any charter that would have that. So that's awkward. Ah, the way again turned around here. Uh, I think we got to enter. Yeah, we got. Oh, let's get a little. Do I have anti get on? Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh yeah, this text texting this thing can be a bit of a pain, um, just because of how realistic actually it, it is. You gotta kind of pay attention to it. Either way, we gotta enter the runway about midfield ish, because that's the only entry point. There's no tower at Lanai uh, anyway, so even if there's like center online or something, we could just call them in the air. It's all good in the neighborhood. Out of the way, we'll text down here. There's a random, uh. Wait, what is this? It's a random, like, uh. Half of a taxiway there. I, that's gotta be for turning around. It's kinda weird that they just placed it at the, uh. End of the runway like that, though. Oddities. Out of the way, we'll make the turn around here. And we <laughs> I 
Alright, so I turn around, I'm going to taxi to the uh, starting point of the runway, and then take off from there. Before takeoff checklist, uh, external lights, landing lights, thank you, and our strobe as well. Takeoff signal, we're fine for that. Air conditioning set, transponder, fine for that. Flight controls, checked. Yeah, we're good. Uh, CWP, takeoff inhibit, we're good. And we'll come back to that. Alright, lights, camera, action, we're ready to go, let's get out of here. Rotating at about 110 knots. Airspeed's alive. Going through 80 already, Jesus. 100. 81. Rotate. We're in the air. Positive rate. That's fine and good. I'll go ahead and, uh, well. Oh, yeah, we can definitely start our turn now. <laughs> Missed that one a little by a little bit. Turn back towards where we need to go. Probably need a little bit more than that. Probably should just turn due north until we capture what we want to capture. By the way, passing through 3,400, let's go ahead and turn the autopilot on. I'm going to hold this baby this time. There we go. Um, I'm gonna switch the heading. We're gonna change the heading. Actually, not quite that much. Let's go back. <laughs> now we really gotta go back because we're capturing this thing. But uh, anytime it wants to do that. There we go. Now we're starting to turn. We'll we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Either way, let's do 270 until we re-get on that uh, Victor Airway. Alright, so F, uh, climb checklist. Let's see. Gear and uh, we gotta put our flaps up. <laughs> we broke our flaps. Anyways, gear flaps up. Uh, ice protection, we're good on that. Auto course in, off. External lights, fine. Cabin signs set. Air conditioning set. Take off and it out. I'm sure I'm doing this completely wrong, but. Oh well, the plane's flying. That's what matters. <laughs> Either way, cabin pressure, prop sink. Where is that anyways? I I always <laughs> I just kind of check it, but I never uh, I really took the time to figure out where that button was in this aircraft. I'm sure it's just right in front of my face, and I can't even see it. But either way. Uh, CTOT can go off. And the altimeter, the, uh, I'll stay on the Lanai altimeter for right now, but the Honolulu altimeter is 299 or 6.
And climb checklist complete, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> oh man. I forgot to turn. Is this. Oh. Well, there you go. I'm not quite sure what happened here. I might might have just reset it wrong or something. I'm getting yellows for some reason. Open valve? Question mark? Nah, I didn't do anything. Huh. Well, the plane's flying. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, I'll be alright. A little bit, uh, we did get it. Just turn a little bit here. Two nine a zero. Uh, we'll make that three zero zero now that we're kind of past it. We'll just zigzag back and forth until we get it. It's no big deal. <laughs> Thanks you guys for watching. Uh, like I said in previous videos, uh, I'll be posting the next flight that I'm doing and the next flight that I'm going to be recording for YouTube. Uh, and hopefully anybody's watching this, if they want to fly, if they want to uh, kind of get the whole group atmosphere going, then we can do that. Um, I think it'll be fun for everyone involved. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. I'm gonna uh, post that for part six of this video. So if you if you click through these videos and if you go to part six and in the description, I'll uh, start from there and do the, I'll do the uh, next flight that I'm doing the IKO to and from, uh, and the time that I'm doing that flight, and I'll also do the next flight that I'm recording unless it's the same flight, uh, the IKO to and from, and the time that I'm leaving for that. I'm not quite viral yet, though, so I doubt the, this will, uh, this will viral yet. I'm not, I'm not quite viral ever, but uh, uh, if even just like one person wants to do that, it'd be fun. It's fun to fly with friends. I think it kind of takes the pressure off too if you're like new to VAT sim or new to new to uh, any uh, flying or realistic flying. Anyways, somewhat realistic flying. I'm still, I don't know what that's about, but. Uh, it does take the pressure off if you're dealing with ATC for the first time, or at least realistic ATC for the first time, because some of these guys can be a little harsh. So, uh, as you might have saw my um, my F and O video a while back of San Francisco, Los, Los Angeles, they will treat you uh, like you're supposed to be knowing what you're doing. So, and I think the group uh, the group flight atmosphere. Jeez, we gotta cut back on the speed a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Uh, anyways, the group flight atmosphere does kind of take the uh, the pressure off of having to do everything right and do uh, everything yourself. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have. We're on the Victor two now. We've got that uh, bar almost in the middle, close enough for uh, for uh, my taste, anyways. Uh, twenty twenty three miles from. Lanai, uh, play is 63 from Lanai, so we'll just wait for that. <laughs> Elena getting set up for the ILS is uh, if we took the Victor 8 off of play, and that would be off of the Molokai VOR, but I think we're just going to go direct, after play we're going to go direct to, uh, Hurley, which is uh, the final approach fix on the ILS Yankee for runway four right. We're gonna go there. Gonna cross that at 1,500. We're gonna be good to go. Ba ba bing, ba ba boom. I do have to record this in the morning because I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to record this uh, at least this part and get it uploaded to YouTube today, uh, and then I'll probably record the uh, last flight. Um, from Honolulu to Lihui tonight, uh, and then I'm not sure I'll go from there. I do have to work those, which is why I'm recording it in the morning. I have to work from 11 to 5 my time, which is uh, 1 to 7 Eastern. Uh, and this morning, I had to go to the doctors and uh, get uh, it was basically my last physical before um, before college. Hepatitis shot, uh, or not? Yeah, hepatitis shot. Um, and whatever the fuck the other one is, uh, measles, uh, and all that, all that good stuff, because I'm probably never going to go to a doctor while I'm in college. <laughs> Either way, 
Uh, so I do have this small window though, because my my appointment was at eight, and I don't have to work till eleven. So I do have this kind of three hour window where I can do this flight, which is nice. I do enjoy my job. I'm working as a uh, fry cook right now. It's kind of a summer job at uh, a local place called Doug's Burger Den here. Uh, just flipping patties and making other kinds of sandwiches and stuff. It's fun. I enjoy it. I don't get paid a lot, but yeah, I get paid enough. Uh, I have been working more recently. Uh, I've been getting paid a little bit better per week, so I kind of splurged and uh, decided to buy this. And so far, it is paying off. I'm really enjoying flying this aircraft. I have all kinds of flights I can do this with. I can fly Pen Air and uh, uh, out of Portland or Alaska or, or in the Northeast. I can fly Silver Airways uh, in the uh, in Florida or out of Washington Dulles. I can fly it as a GA plane. I could fly it for DHL cargo in some random remote S location. Uh, I could fly it for Crossair or Flybe in the in Europe. Um, I could fly for Regional Express or Air New Zealand Link in that area. I could fly it as Aloha Air Cargo in Hawaii. It's just, it's just the possibilities are really just endless with this plane, and it's it's just it's my kind of plane. Everything works superbly well. I love flying it already. Uh, it just it looks nice, flies nice. All the systems work. It's f fun to uh, it's fun to fly this by the book. This will be the plane where I, I actually try to learn some shit and fly it somewhat realistically. Uh, still not sure what that's about, but I just I just really enjoy this plane already. I, it was a good buy uh, for fifty dollars. Next video I do though will probably be uh, in the yeah uh, well. The next video I post will be the J-Roll and CRJ because I've had that video lying around forever and I've just kind of been postponing putting it on YouTube. But I did a flight in the J-Roll and CRJ from San Francisco to North Bend uh, and kind of talked about my flight simming experience and why I use VATSIM and all that good stuff during that video. Uh, so I'll post that eventually. But the next actual flight I'm going to do for recording purposes after these hops is uh, probably going to be something like Los, well, maybe not Los Angeles. Hmm. I'm not actually sure. It'll probably be like San Francisco to John Wayne or something. Like I don't know. Something in California. Uh, find the IXCG. It'll be an IXCG flight. My next recording will be an IXCG flight. I just haven't decided what route I want to do yet. I'm going to do, after these hops tonight, I'm going to do uh, the return to the mainland from uh, Lihui to probably either uh, Los Angeles or Phoenix or maybe Denver or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Either way, we're about 20 from Palais. Palais is 63... Actually, hang on. <laughs> I might have actually read Sky Vector wrong. It might be Honolulu. That's 63 miles from Lanai, but let's see. Uh, yeah, it, it does look like that. Actually, let's look at the low chart. It is... I don't know what it is. I don't know what will need to have be. That might be 9 also, so 18, 24, 48. So we're, bas we're almost overplay, actually. Uh, let's see. I don't care. Um... Yeah, we're like three miles from Palais, and there's Honolulu. Going to be going for four right, so I'm going to go ahead and change up my heading here to, uh, this, well, actually, hmm, let's go 270 for now, just for, actually, let's go 260 just for planning purposes. But yeah, airport's right over there. We'll go ahead and descend now to, uh, Let's go ahead and descend to three or four thousand. I haven't decided yet. And let's go to three thousand. Just because, in case we need to go to the next fix, is at uh, three thousand. So, uh, vertical speed. We're going down, down, down to the burning ring of fire. Anyways, uh, oh, 1200 feet per minute. Kind of cut back on a speed. The need for speed. Anyways, we got Honolulu and our GPS here. 
find the ILS4 right from, uh, from whatever the fuck it's called. Um, shit, I can't remember what the fuck it's called. Pearly. That's what I was going for. So you need 110.5 in the, uh, in the nav. 042 is our course. Uh, let's go this way, actually. 0, 4, ah, I'm pressing the wrong one. Whoops. 0, 4, 2. I don't really like how you can't scroll. I haven't figured out how to scroll through these yet. I'm probably doing something wrong, but either way, zero four two is our course. We got our nav in. Uh, we're about twelve from the localizer, going to eleven. Uh, so let's slow down and descend a little bit more because we are a little bit high. Let's go to two thousand. can't actually go past flight idle in the air. I kind of like that feature about this aircraft. It won't let you do that. So, it's kind of a pain in the ass for descending, though. We're going to need a downwind leg, probably. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn to, uh, let's make that a 220 heading. So we're getting closer and closer, not really descending anywhere. <laughs> Either way, about one, I'll keep it at 180 until uh, we get a little bit farther down. So let's go ahead and increase the speed there. 175 ish. Our uh, flap speed is 175 for 7 and 15, 165 for uh, 20, and 140 for 35. We've got our lights on, our uh, descent checklist. Let's see. So, briefing ILS Yankee 4 right from Pearly. We got, uh, we're on a downwind, downwind leg right now to kind of. Uh, uh, get away from all that. Anyways, to get lower, that's what I meant to say. Ice protection, we're good on that. Camera pressure, fine. Flight instruments, uh, bugs, and seat tie. We're going to set that again. And actually, we'll do the landing checklist later. Uh, well, we'll do the approach checklist right now. Temperature 299 or 6 for, for Honolulu. Uh, external lights, I already checked that. Cabin signs on, HP valves are set. And now we play the waiting game. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, Pearly is 6.2 from Honolulu. Or f at least the DME from the VOR. Uh, or actually from the localizer, I should say. Uh, and Yepgu uh, is 15.9. So once we get to about 15, uh, we'll probably be a good equalizer point for turning back. I think we're good right now actually. Let's go ahead and turn to base. Three one zero. Dun, 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 dun. Lots of clicking. It's good for your fingers. I think we're at three one zero. I don't know. Close enough. <laughs> Either way, base leg. Should have the airport off to our right side here shortly. Um. Hmm. Is it there? Question mark. There's Coco or not Coco Diamond Head. Uh, I guess the airport's that way. Kind of. We are kind of far out, to be fair. Uh, there's the line. Let's go ahead and uh, make a turn here. 
to uh, let's do zero one zero. It's not. I didn't mean to press M. Again, we are pretty far from local. Let's just go ahead and put in a notch of flaps. Watch that line come in, hopefully. Eventually. <laughs> slow down a little bit because I increase the speed a little too much by the way there's the airport I'm gonna stay in the ILS here for a little bit one thousand five hundred at at uh, pearly I should say uh, vertical speed and uh, we'll just go like freaking something ridiculous uh, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Eh, we'll do that. Because <laughs> why not? And we got rain. That's nice. We have wipers. That's not what I meant to do. Hey, go back. There we go. <laughs> Never used to like the reverse, uh, the reverse clicking. Out of the way, airport's in sight. There, we kind of we turned a little bit too early. That's all right. About 8 DME at uh, 1,500. We're going to stay there for a while. Let's go and put in flaps 15 and our gear down. This airport is done by NAPS and it's amazing. It, everything is modeled well. The texturing is fantastic. There's custom buildings and all the parkings there and static aircraft and just looks fantastic. I always enjoy flying in the air of the scenery. Especially when you get to use the reef runway. Which now we we're, we're, uh, we're using because they don't typically uh, when they land when they land at two sixes they'll land two six left but they don't typically land eight right so Go ahead and do flaps twenty. You kind of turn towards it a little bit. Alright, autopilot coming off because we are high. We gotta get down. I haven't figured out how to shut off the uh, autopilot. The thing. Oh, we gotta turn right. Anyways, I haven't figured out how to turn out the uh, autopilot um, warning. So we'll just go to sound volume, and we'll <laughs> we'll uh, just kind of put that out of the way because I don't want it to annoy me here. We're pretty high. We got to get down here. We're gonna go all the way back on the throttles, basically. Well, full flaps. So not really great ILS approach, but we had the field inside, so it ended up making for a good visual. Get to fly over to Reef Runway here, one of my favorite runways. It's just having it uh, kind of out in a way like this and on its own little sandbar. Looks cool. 
They use 8 right for departures when they're in this config. Typical config for Honolulu is a departing 8 left and right and landing a left and 4 right. They'll especially land 4 right when uh, it's like early in the morning or late at night or they have to worry about noise abatement. Either way, let's go ahead and get set up here. Red over white. Keep it at about 120 for now. Plus we're parking at, get at the uh, cargo ramp, which is literally right to the right of us. Ooh, pulled up a little too early. That's alright though. On the ground. Go reversers. And we'll have to roll it to the next one, that's alright. So on the ground air at Honolulu, the big one. Uh, I'll show you the terminal on, I think the next flight I'll do will be in the uh, CRJ. We'll do that from Honolulu to Lihu and fly the uh, um, uh, now defunct Go Mokulele, uh, they flew CRJ-200, they're operated by Mesa, they flew, uh, CRJ-200s, uh, between Honolulu, Lihui, uh, Kahului, Hilo, and Kona, the, uh, major airports. I think we'll do that next time just so I can kind of show off the terminal area of this, uh, fantastic scenery, but for now let's pull in the cargo. And they were always needed after landing checklist. We didn't do our landing checklist, but it's alright. Guess lock, I have no idea what that is. I'll have to look that up. Ice protection set, auto course in. I didn't know we are supposed to turn it on again, but uh, either way it's off. External lights, uh, land off. Taxi will keep on. Don't really need it. Well, yeah, I'll keep a strobe light on, because why not? HP valves closed, differential pressure check. Uh, flaps coming up. Yeah, there we go. They come up fast. <laughs> Anyways, flaps up. Uh, radar transponder. We didn't take it off standby because there weren't any controllers. Um, oh, and then parking checklist. At least I don't think there were any controllers. <laughs> if there were, we were screwed. Um, either way, let's go ahead and pull in. As we get disconnected from the network, of course. X Squawk Box and my internet working hand in hand to give me a uh, annoying experience. By the way, I'm not actually sure where Aloha Air Cargo parks now. Back, back in my day, Aloha Airlines was a commercial airline and they parked at the Inner Island Terminal. But then Hawaiian wanted a monopoly on the entire Hawaiian airline system, so they basically ran Aloha out of business. Sorry, there's still some salty feelings there. But yeah, uh, since it became a ca uh, virtu uh, strictly cargo airline, I'm not sh actually sure where they park here. Uh, so let's, oh, I, th I thought there'd be a space there, but I guess not. Let's park next to this ATR from FedEx. I'm not actually sure that was why there's a FedEx ATR here. I don't think they, I don't think F FedEx does any inner island routes. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but even if they do, I think they fly like seven fives or something. Um, either let's go ahead and pull up here. I guess we'll use this space. This looks like a good space. It says gate, but we all know it's not. It's cargo. Aloha cargo. Alright, parking brake set. Engine anti-ice is off. External lights, uh, we'll turn a taxi off. The strobe off. Add a wing and a nav off. Uh, avionics fine, generators good, seatbelt sign go off. Even overflying cargo, <laughs> air conditioning, emergency lights uh, can go off as well. There we go. Uh, do that. 
Orange lights off. Oxygen on. I'll keep it on. Batteries will keep on. Dome light will keep on. We can shut this baby down. Only not with my throttle quadrant because I actually have to go and cut the fuel off. Anyways, outside view here, cause just because I love how the uh, I always loved how the props look when they uh, cut the engine. Kind of the sound that it makes, it kind of just roaring down and the uh, slow uh, ending spin of these. I don't know. I get excited about the weirdest things. By the way, we're here at Honolulu. We're at the cargo area, flying Aloha Air Cargo. We just transported some awesome cargo from Lanai to Honolulu. As you can see, the terminals in the background there. Uh, we got Pearl City out here, and then Honolulu is. Seriously, I just love how those props look when it slowly, when they're slowly winding down. Either way, we got uh, um, whatever it's freaking called right here. Uh, I think it's called Sand Island, or actually, um, I've been there before. It's a popular camping spot. And I've actually been out on the beach here when they're landing on the two sixes, and they got planes flying for two six left. And that, let me tell you, that is some cool plane spotting. Um, but either way, one thing I really love about the scenery is the water textures, how they just uh, made it, you know, all reefy, corally, kind of greenish, uh, which is awesome. By the way, we are here on the ground. Honolulu is right. All, all of this. Big city, for about 400,000 people, or at least it was when I lived there. I think it's up to 500,000 people now. Uh, but yeah, it's just a metropolis for all of Hawaii, basically. And a gateway for all all the uh, tourism and all of that. So yeah, really big city. It was really fun to live there when I did. Um, that's really all I have to show off. Uh, next flight we'll be doing, I'll be switching over to the CRJ, we're going to go from the passenger terminal, actually from the commuter terminal, uh, but I'll show off the passenger terminal, we're going to be going from Honolulu to Lihui, and I'll see you guys then.